In this task, we will import the raster file that we will perform a supervised classification on and create an image group. This will prepare the imagery for input for classification. So click File, Import Raster Data, Common Formats Input, r.n.gdal. This will open the Import Raster Data module window. Set the following options. First, the source type being File. The source settings will be Erdos Imagine Images, .img. There it is. For the file, click Browse, go to your lab folder, and choose TMSAC sub, and click Open. For a list of GDAL layers, make sure the one is checked, and Add imported layers into layer tree should also be checked, uh, unchecked. Sorry. Click the Import button, and then click the Close button. Select the Layer Manager window and select the Command Console tab, if it's not already selected. The console displays the results of the import function. Note that the tool imported six rasters, one raster for each raster band. Grass treats each, raster, uh, each band as a separate raster map. Each band can be visualized separately or, if desired, a composite can be created, such as the composite created in Lab 3 for this course. To perform an image classification, the raster maps must be combined into a group and subgroup. A group is a collection of raster maps. A subgroup is a subset of the group's raster maps that will be utilized in the image classification. So, for instance, if you had a group of bands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but only wanted to use bands 3 and 4 for analysis, you would create a subgroup containing only bands 3 and 4. When we imported the TMSAC sub, Grass created a group for us named TMSAC sub. We will edit the group containing all six raster maps to add a subgroup containing all the raster maps since we will use all bands for our unsupervised classification. So click Imagery, Develop Images and Groups, Create Edit Group. This will open the Creator Edit Imagery Groups tool. Enter TM underscore SAC sub underscore group as the group name. The layers in selected group should automatically populate with the six TM SAC sub raster maps. If not, click Add, and then check all the boxes and click OK to add them. Check to find also subgroup, and click OK to add the subgroup and dismiss the tool. Now that the imagery has been loaded and a group and subgroup have been specified, the last step is to set the region. If you recall from Lab 3, a region is a subset of a location defined by a rectangular bounding box. The region is important for raster and imagery operations as it bounds the area that will be participate in any raster and imagery operations executed in GRASS. A region is an operating parameter set when working in GRASS. So let's set the region equal to one of the TM SAC sub raster maps. So to do that, I'm going to click Settings. Region, set region. This will open the region tool, and under the multiple set region and map uh, uh, to match this raster map, I'm going to choose TMSAC sub dot one. And note that the at classification denotes that TMSAC sub one is stored in the classification map set. I'm going to click run. The tool will switch to the command output tab. And if you do not see any line that begins with the word error then the region has been successfully set. And since I don't see any errors, the, I know the region has been set. So I'll click close to close the region tool. So with the imagery loaded, group and subgroup defined, and region set, we can now perform the unsupervised classification.